Hey everyone, I'm Franny. Welcome to Paws and Paint Studio. If you're new here, I look forward to getting to know you. So please introduce yourself in the comments below. And if you're returning, thank you for hanging out with me again. I would love it if you would drop me a note in the comments below to let me know that you were here. <laughs> Okay, guys, I have a little um, unboxing today. I hope there's not too much glare there. Here we go. Um, I was contacted by a company on Amazon um, called Be Love Everything DIYs. And the store name is just B-L-E-D-S. And... They asked me if I would be interested in reviewing one of their products, and this was the product that they sent me. Um, I have not opened it yet. It looks like it was opened. Um, unfortunately, it was delivered to the wrong address, and my neighbor opened it and quickly realized it was not for them. So I have not looked inside yet, but um, here we go. Let's open it up and see what we have here. Um, this is all journaling supplies. I do know that. So we have a few packs here. Um, there's this one. This one. Let's see. Does this says? Oh, they say cottage garden. 60 pieces, 60 pieces. Cottage garden, 60 pieces. Same thing. They all say cottage garden, 60 pieces, it looks like. Okay. And then we have some flowers. A tape runner. And a big package. This looks like it is... It says notes a hundred notes so I'm thinking journaling spots ooh, ooh. okay so I'm going to um, just open these up and see what see what they look like inside uh, I think that a lot of these would make great journaling spots anyway so um, We'll just do a quick little look here. These are all very thin, which is great for our journals, right? Because we don't want to bulk them up too much. Looks like a couple of those. It looks like they're repeats. Um, looks like there's a couple of each design. The paper it feels really interesting guys it almost feels um i don't quite know how to explain it but it's soft it's very soft <laughs> um i i like how it feels it's really cool so there's all those little ones and then it looks like the big ones are much the same but a little different so yeah, these are really cool papers. Um, three different sizes, it looks like. And it looks like that's the case with all of these. So I'm just going to kind of quickly flip through them here. And um, then we'll make something. We'll just do a little something, a little project. These, um, hmm. these feel a little different. This is really cool. This, look at this one, guys. Can you see that? It looks like there's something underneath it, but it's just the one sheet of paper. Isn't that cool? Um, okay. This is great for journaling. Most of these are great for journaling. And whatever isn't for journaling is great for background type stuff, right? 
So again, I think that um, it kind of looks like the papers are similar. They're not all exactly the same. I don't think we saw that before. Uh, that, that doesn't look quite the same. It looks similar again. Ooh, look at that. So I think that you get, even though they're similar, each, each stack, um, like each stack, even though they come in the same package, they're a little different. Again, similar, but different. So like if you like ledger papers, then you're going to get that kind of vibe in that package. It looks like this one is kind of like flowers, um, like homemade papers almost. So if that's your vibe, that's kind of what you're going to get from this one. So that's cool. And they're very thin. These are all very thin, which I love. I love having thin papers in my journals. Um, I think most of us do. <laughs> so these are kind of like textures, tears, a lot of tears. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Um, distressed. How about that? Yeah, these are kind of um, more grungy papers. And all of this, this was all one kit. So this, all of this stuff came together. So it's not like you just order this. Whenever you order it, you get all of this. It's just one package. And I don't want to say um, what the price was marked at because that prices on this looks to be like um, postal kind of stuff. Um, prices on Amazon tend to change, ebb and flow and fluctuate. And so I don't want to say what the current price is because when you see this, that may not be the price. So I don't want anyone coming at me over incorrect pricing, but I will leave a link below and you can go click on the link and see what the price was yourself. And if it's something that you're interested in, these are flowers, very pretty. Oh, I've been eyeballing that. I'm excited for that one. I'm probably going to try to make that work, especially because I've been trying to do a lot of red, white, and blue in my July journal. So I've still got quite a few pages to catch up on in my July journal. So yes to this. In fact, I'm just going to sit it out. Oh, those are red, white, and blue too. But there's such a variety. Look, there's these browns, there's red, white, and blues, there's blues, greens, pinks, uh, more pinks. <laughs> yeah, it's there's plenty of variety here. So I, I feel like there, you, you should be able to find your color scheme here. Um, and these are flowers. Uh, I love... I love flowers like this. I have quite a few stickers like this that are transparent. Um, is that what you call it? Like the background of the flower itself is transparent. So it looks like the same kind of deal. You get a couple of each style. Really pretty uh, yellow flowers. So these are super cool. Um, these are great. I think for most any season really um great for fall great for spring great for summer right <laughs> so we can make use of those also 
And then the last pack is this note collection, which I think, um, I don't know if these are stickers or not. Let's find out. Uh, they feel like paper. Ooh, look at that cool packaging. I bet we can do something with that too. Yeah, these are paper. I thought perhaps they were stickers, but oh my gosh, you guys, daisies are my favoriteest favorite flower. Look at that. I'm in love. That's so pretty. Um, okay. So what I do know already is that I don't care for this white border. That is not my jam. And I have some stickers like that and I've had such a struggle using them. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull those to the side because um, they're just not my favorite. And uh, when I make a project using this stuff, I don't want to be on the struggle bus, you know? I, I want to make something fun and um, I'm sure that there's, like these are fine. I don't mind it being on a square. But when it's something that has a shape to it, I just, I'm not a fan of that white border, which is interesting because I do tend to, when I quote unquote fussy cut, I don't terribly mind that. Um, I always leave a little white border. <laughs> But this is much preferred. I, I definitely prefer things to be, if it's something I'm purchasing, I want it cut out. But that's just me. Not everyone feels that way, and that's okay. All right. So there we go. Um, that's the notes pack. Okay, so I'm going to get all of this stuff gathered back up and then we'll start working on my um the next page of my july journal and we'll incorporate some of this stuff so give me just a second which will literally be just a second for you but it's gonna be a minute for me so i want to get all this organized and i'll be right back okay welcome back to the view you're used to seeing <laughs> So I sorted out a few things that I want to try to work with. Um, I love these flowers. And because this page is kind of a, um, you know, like an aged page, like, you know, it's vintage looking, right? <laughs> um, I, I pulled out some vintage, some of the more vintage-y, not more, not some. <laughs> I pulled out some pieces that are more vintage looking to try to use and I thought um, that I would like to try to use this as a journaling card this could be the front this could be the back but now that I'm looking at it I'm thinking what if I cut it down to an actual tag size let's see how that would look um, this is my tag that I keep for a template so it would be like that and then I could still use this piece for something else I'm gonna do it I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it and see what happens it's packaging right I mean what difference does it make that's close enough three inches there we go And I'll save that for a minute. I'm not going to save it forever. If I don't use it pretty quickly, it's going to get thrown. I'm just at my wits end with all the stuff. So I can't keep saving everything. Wow, I didn't cut that quite big enough. That's interesting. Hmm. But that's okay. Um, so I'm just going to slide, slide this side all the way over to this side of this tag to cut this corner. And then I'm gonna slide it all the way to this side to cut this corner. I like my tags to, my tag corners to be that kind of 
more shallow depth. I don't like the deeper corners. Now, I don't know why this always happens, though. Why is one side... Let me just look again here. Because I didn't have it right up to the corner. Guys, I smell spaghetti, and I am not cooking spaghetti, and I don't live in an apartment, so it's not someone above or below me. Maybe I'm craving spaghetti. What the heck is going on? Wow. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's my tag. And then I thought I could use something fun out of here to back it with. Um, I don't know what yet. Oh! Maybe even a piece of this. This was not my plan, but let's just look. No, I don't like that. Um, it's going to have to have a little better coverage. What all do I have here? That could work. Yeah. That's perfect, actually. So, okay. I just want to get this stuff out of the way for the moment so I can focus here on what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to try out the tape runner. Gosh, I haven't used one of these in so long. Um, let's see. My finger goes there, so I'm guessing it just goes down like this. Um, it, if it's going, oh, it is going. I was going to say, if it's going, it's going very smoothly. I don't know where the bottom is. Let's see. Um, okay, so I'm going to go right about there. So I'll need to come all the way down to here. Hope my big head wasn't just in the way, guys. Sorry about that. All right, this is the top. Oh, I should probably put one across the top, too, speaking of the top. There we go. All right. So I'm going to put this right at the edge of that white. Boom. Now, I didn't quite measure right. I have a little bit of tape sticking out at the bottom. So I'm going to look for some vintagey. Oh, I might. Um, actually, I have some tape here. I'm going to use, I'm going to choose one of these. I'm just going to use what's on my desk. <laughs> I'm the worst. Okay. Why is it that none of us can cut straight? Like, cutting straight is our kryptonite or something. Why is it such a problem? There. Oh, my goodness. Thanks for showing up to watch me fumble, guys. It's always a challenge around here. All right, so. I feel strangely drawn to this one for some reason, so that's what I'm gonna do. Just like that. There we go. This I can probably cut with my scissors. Let's just see. You know what? I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to just use my card and tear it. That way it can intentionally look uneven if it is. Put that there. Where's the other one? What happened to the other one? 
<laughs> guys oh my gosh okay it has been a day i'm just saying <sighs> all right there so there's my tag um i need a hole in it gonna grab a hole punch be right back this was the first one i grabbed the the slot so i'm just going to be a little different and do this this time is that about centered let's see that looks close enough there we go all right so far we have a tag yes thank you very much i need to get a sip of my juice here All right. Um, next, I'm just, I'm thinking that I'm going to, I don't even know if that needs any decoration, but you know what? It's, I don't like how shiny it is. So I am going to just, um, I'm going to put a little something, something on it, but I'm I don't know. I'm going to see how this goes. This is a vintage effect wash. I'm going to try this out. I don't know how that's going to look on there. Looking for my paint brushes. Guys, when I tell you it's a situation around here, like this is my paintbrush situation. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have my brush, my favorite brush, fairly clean, uh, thanks to this guy. This has saved me so many times. Um, I'm a deco art girl, <laughs> and I am committed to this stuff. So I don't even know if they still sell it, but thankfully I have a backup bottle so it doesn't take much I just um what I typically do is I will put that stuff just um uh, just a little bit in the bottom of my cup and um just kind of swirl it around it took about five minutes for me to get all the that was glue by the way it was um not glue but it was this it was decoupage <laughs> so um yeah all right let's just see how this works i'm just going to coat put a coat over this and then I'm going to run over to my heat tool and get it dry real quick and I'll be right back. All right, I really like how that took the glare off of there. I'm gonna put one more coat on. You can still see the glare up here. So I'm gonna put one more coat on and dry it and that's where we're gonna be with this. There we are, I'm gonna go get it dry. Hopefully it's not going to uh, stay that dark. <laughs> All right, my tag is dry. It definitely dried um, more opaque than I had hoped, but it's okay. Now we'll just decorate it. Um, I have, I don't know, I wanna use a piece of fabric on here. I have an idea. Um, I, I think I want to use fabric. I brought this out. 
uh, because I see some cute stuff here. This all came from uh, either a yard sale or a state sale or something, I don't know. Um, but no, that's not quite right. Um, I don't want that dark of a brown, so I think that's not it. I also thought maybe I could use, just cut this off and use this piece of this arrow. Um, and then I also have this, which I just don't really feel like cutting into. So I'm going to pass on that also. I think I'm going to use this piece of this arrow. I, I like how, yeah, maybe I'll even use a piece of this too. Let me look in here. Yeah, I think I'm going to layer it up and do that. Um, I'm just going to tear this side. Wait a minute. How about one of these? Okay, for one thing, let's get this cut down to the size I need it. Oh yeah, that's cute. And then I was thinking maybe one of these flowers on here. And then I have some really pretty trim over here. I was thinking um, maybe one of these or... Okay, let's just get this glued down first. I'm getting excited. <laughs> um, glue, glue, glue. actually a sticker maybe not I don't know I, maybe it's not a sticker sorry if you can hear my dogs acting like morons my neighbor's dog dogs uh, are completely ridiculous and so my dogs think that if those dogs bark they need to bark too, and it just drives me crazy. Okay. Um, that's cute. Let me just make sure there isn't something oh that's cute too okay that's cute but I want a little more Oh my gosh, you guys, these are all so cute. How do you pick? No, it's gotta be yellow or orange. <gasps> Look at that. I think that's the one right there because I'm not really looking to put anything on here necessarily. Hmm. Wish that wasn't so white now. <laughs> okay. Let's just see if we can fix that. Um, we have ink. Here's antique linen. Let's just give this a go.
that helps. Okay, that makes me way happier. Yes. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Craft a lunch. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And now let's see how this. Oh, yeah. So much better. Okay, where's my flower? Where'd I put my flower, guys? Did I throw it back in this pile? I guess so. Okay, give me 20 minutes to take this off. <laughs> Ooh, before I do that, one more little peek. Actually, I'm gonna do this. I'm switching things up. All right, guys, uh, I like this Gorilla Glue for stuff like this because I don't have Fabri-Tac. I'm sure that would probably be a better option. Mine dried up, I threw it away. So this, this is the new it thing for me because I have it and I don't want it to dry up and have to throw it away also. So it stinks, but it holds, guys, it holds. All right, I'm pretty happy with that, but I do want to put a little more ink on the edges. So, okay, we got some tea dye here for the edges. Yeah, that's way better. I like that. That's gonna help a lot. Sometimes when I'm making specific pieces like this, I just feel like, um, I, I don't know, I used to be a big inker. I, I would ink my edges on everything. And then I just stopped. I decided that was not my jam anymore. And um, I don't know, I always felt like that was kind of made it look finished and so I definitely think that makes that look finished so I'm happy with that. Do we need it on this side? No. All right so there's my little tag. I love that made from my stuff, my new stuff. <laughs> Okay, so I would definitely say that I'm happy with this stuff. I think it's fun. It's um, it's good quality stuff. It, I, I love, I mean, I know it's thin, but I actually appreciate that. And I think that a lot of people appreciate that. So, um, yeah, I, I think this this is a good collection. I'm, I'm, ple I'm pleased with it. Personally, I'm pleased with it. So there's that. Um, now I'm thinking I might use this for a journaling spot because I do need a journaling spot. Um, I might try to ink these edges too though, just because like I said before, I don't care for the white edges. So let's just, um, let's just see what this does here. Let's 
see if this makes me feel better about things. Yes, that does make me feel better. So the one critique I do have, like I said, I, I think I said, sorry, I, it's, um, I didn't get to finish this when I started it. So it's been a day or two and I don't remember at this very moment what I said. So <laughs> if I didn't say that my one critique is the white edges, that is my one critique on, on this kit. So we'll just use this little tape gun here again. That's good enough. It's not going to go anywhere. I think maybe I actually want it up here. Well, that's where it's going to be. <laughs> Even my Friday is is orangey. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of cool. I like that. I'm gonna see if I have a pre-made pocket to put this tag in. Ooh, maybe one of these. No, it doesn't really fit with. Maybe I just need a tuck. a couple things here. I can use this as a tuck. No, nope, that's going to get too thick. So I'm thinking maybe this guy here. But then these two don't go together. <laughs> okay. No to both of those. Okay, guys, I think that what I'm going to do here is just um, kind of make a tuck like this. So I thought I could collage this. This is just a... Um, uh, Franny, um, a junk mail postcard. That's what it's called. Thank you. 
Well, that's crooked. This is not repositionable tape, so it's crooked. And that's just how it gets to be. So, yay for me. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to put glue because I think there's something about using double-sided tape on pockets that's not a good thing. All right. And that gives me a little, another little journaling spot there. Journaling spot there, journaling spot there. Perfect, perfect, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> um, and I have a picture. Oh, I should have put my picture on there. This picture is horrible. I don't know why it turned out so green like that. Um, yeah, it's weird. So I want to back it on something. I don't know if any of these are really big enough to back. Oh, that's the same one. Um, yeah, probably not. That could work, but isn't that? Yeah, that's the exact same thing. So let me see. not going to back it. I don't know. Oh, I know. I was thinking about using this brown paper on my tag. Maybe I'll use it behind my picture. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, all right. I like that. This is probably, no, this is definitely not the kind of page you guys are used to seeing from me. But once in a while, it's fun to make something like this. Uh, uh, you know, just um, outside of, no, I don't want to say my comfort zone because it's not that I'm not comfortable with this kind of style, it's just not what I do. It's not my preference. All right. Oh, hold on a minute. Let me put this in here because I want to make sure I'm not covering up my sweet puppy dog. I kind of wanted those holes to show, but I definitely don't want to cover up my boy. So that's where that goes. All right, I feel like I need um, some fringe up here. So let's see, what do we have? What do we have? Um, I have this orange. Ooh, that might be all right. Not so much of it though. All right, guys, this is going to be the finishing touch on this page because it is almost time for my hubby to be home and I need to go get dinner ready. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this little page. This was a lot of fun. It's always fun to do something a little different. And um, this was definitely different for me, but I enjoyed it. It was, I, I had fun. So there we go. Um, I kind of feel like I want a little something here. You know what, guys? I'm going to go make dinner and think on this for a minute before I go. And um, I'll be back. I, I want to work something into this corner. And I have a few things in my notes that I might be able to use to put down here. So we're not done yet. I have to go make dinner. And I will be back in a flash. All right, guys. So I found this little nugget here on a quote, um, part of a calendar quote. And I thought that I would just add this little quote here because I, um, it says happiness is found along the way, not at the end of the road. <laughs> and then it had this little, um, piece of flower here. And I just thought that was so pretty. It fills that little space there at the bottom. It does just what I need. Um, it gives me a little bit of color too. This is, while I love all of this, it is, it's just not me guys. It's not, um, I don't know. I, I just need, I need a little pop a a little pop of color on, on my page and this does it for me. So yeah, so this is it. This is what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna glue this down real quick. I'm not sure which direction I had that in and I don't know that it necessarily matters as long as I get everything on here that I want on here, right? Can you guys hear my bulldog snoring in the background? He's such a trip, man. That dog can, that dog can snore. Oops, hanging off the edge. I'd rather it tuck into the pocket a little bit than hang off the edge. Okay, happiness. Is found along the way. Not at the end of the road. And it didn't say who the quote was by, so there's no one to credit for that. Um, but I do want to just, uh, let me see, what can I do here? I think I want to get out my ink tents pencils. Okay, I have my ink tense pencils here, and I'm just going to, let's see, what color should I use? I think I need maybe a green, so I'll do that. And I'm going to outline it, just to give it a little bit more color. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Um, the 12th is done. And I was a little stressed about, I actually got a little stressed about this in the middle of the night because I thought I didn't have a sticker, but I do, I have my sticker right there. <laughs> Isn't it funny how, how your mind thinks of things? So anyway, thanks guys for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you, thank you so much. You guys are all amazing. Thank you for being a part of this. I really enjoy hanging out with you guys. I hope that you guys got to do something fun while I fumbled through this. I hope that you are doing something creative and I hope that you are living your very best life. Thanks guys and I'll see you real soon. Bye.